Hello, my name is Walter, and uh, this is the last Jedi official teaser trailer just dropped today. So I'm capitalizing on it. I haven't watched it at all. Uh, I've seen a few pictures, to be honest with you guys, uh, but I have not watched the trailer yet. So you guys will be watching with me, and uh, this will be a blind reaction, obviously. Uh, so yeah, let me put this in full screen, and uh, we can go. Uh, so let's go. Nice, nice. I like the I like the um, whole starry thing. Of course, it reveals to the ground and everything. Oh, it's uh, Ray. I just wonder if we'll see uh, Mark Hamill more. Hopefully, we will see him more. <gasps> it is him. Oh my god, look at that set. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's so beautiful. I, l I love water, like the body of water, the ocean and everything. I'm trying, Mark Hamill. I'm trying. Oh, look at that. She's doing the force. She's she's learning the force ways. Oh. Aww. Aww. Ah, uh, that's Darth Vader's mask. Yep, yep. Oh, is that is that the Jedi books? Oh, yes, it is. It is the Jedi. Uh, it is, it is the Jedi books. Oh my God, I, I'm I'm fan boy so much. Oh my God, she's training with the lightsaber. <gasps> yes, this Christmas. Oh, look at that. Okay, we'll we'll have some star battle. Starships battle. Okay, Finn is still uh, unconscious. By the way, I still think he should be dead. By the way, oh, she's definitely gonna fight uh, Kylo Ren again, of course. Looks like we'll have more um, spar uh, space battle. Oh, wait, what? What? Let's watch it again. Let's watch it again. I, I, I'm so, I'm so, I'm such a fan. Boy, I'm gonna watch this again. Yeah. Okay. She, she puts her hand down and she's like breathing heavily. So this plays into the breathe thing, right? I, I'm thinking the scene that becomes uh comes before it is the whole uh rock flying thing. I still love that set. Breathe. Ah, I cut my cable. I'm so excited. Oh yeah, see this this is seen but before she comes out and uh, starts gasping for air. You see the uh, this is gonna be um Princess Leia. God bless her soul. And uh, that's Darth Vader's mask as I said earlier. Yep. And the balance. This is probably going to be in the house or something. Oh, to the, the temple, if you remember from uh, Rogue One. So that we're going to be shelved. Oh, there she is, learning the lightsaber ways. I just wonder why um, Mark Hamill is so far away. And he said uh, this should be the time when the Jedi's uh, should end. So I'm going to talk a lot more about that later. Yeah, we're gonna see much more uh, star battle, uh, star battles. That's R two D two and uh, Mark Hamill, of course, or Luke Skywalker. Oh no, no, Mark Hamill! It's not time. It's not time yet. It is not time yet. Ah. Oh. Okay, I, I got so many things to talk about here. Okay, so we have Ray, uh, we have Finn, uh, we have Poe, uh, we have Princess Leia, which um, is to be expected because a lot of people uh, were saying that uh, this was the last episode she f uh, she was able to get in before she passed away. God bless her soul. Um, so I definitely want want to know why Mark Hamill said uh, that this is the time the Jedi should and what does he mean by that like should the jedi just end and like the sith like take over everything because like he's given up or does he mean that all of this fighting is futile which i kind of agree with him like 
you know this has gone on for like like years and years and years because of like Count Dooku and like um uh Dark Lord, Dark Lord Plebus which you know a lot of people have made memes about that um and you got like Yoda the good side the uh, Yoda uh, Anakin before he turned to Darth, Darth Vader Obi-Wan Kenobi Qui-Gon uh you got you got um Luke Skywalker you got uh you got Han Solo, but you know, he wasn't really a force user, but he still was on the good side of good. So, I'm wondering why, uh, I'm wondering why Mark Hamill said that. And it looks like he's definitely gonna have more dialogue in this. Okay, cheap joke, but I'm like, yeah, you know, it's, it's Mark Hamill. Who knows? Because, you know, I, I'm, just, I'm just worried he, he does a uh, little laugh and I'm gonna be like, Oh, that's the Joker! Yes! Uh, <laughs> uh, but you know, I'm I'm definitely tr gonna try to tune that out. I'm definitely gonna watch this, guys. Like Christmas, okay? This is gonna be my Christmas present, all right? And Star Wars is always gonna be in December. Like, uh, the first one was in December. The Force Awakens was in December. Rogue One was in December. This one's in December. So I have something to look forward to every year and like I don't I don't care about this the like, comic book stuff like okay Thor I'm not really I'm not really convinced Justice League I'm kind of convinced um and I just want to see how they how they get that out there um Guardians of the Galaxy I'm I'm not I'm, I don't know what they're gonna be about because uh, I'm like mm, what that what that like doing like and I just think that it's because our current you know generation is so saturated with superhero stuff that we don't get enough of this type of stuff like we've had Star Trek but it wasn't as epic as Star Wars you know like Star Wars is that true space opera that you want to sit down in like a theater, you know, grab some popcorn, like grab your uh, grab a drink, and then like sit in one of those like co good comfortable chairs and like just chill. And then when the when the curtain opens, you know you'll hear like the applause, and then you know you'll hear the fanfare. Boop, boop, boop. And then you'll see all the actors come on stage and take a little bow before they do the production. And then they do it. And it's fucking good. <sighs> okay. <laughs> oh my god, I just, I just totally fanboyed there. <sighs> okay, so. Oh man. It, it's such a pity because Donnie Yen did such a good job in Rogue One. And I, I hope to god. That they bring him back, but you know he's he's dead, dead, in the Rogue One. But I hope they bring him back because like maybe they can kind of do the the great grandfather thing, you know, just a reflection against Kylo Ren, uh, bring him back in, uh, and like because he's a real martial artist, so like maybe he can be one of the masters of the Jedi who are left with. Uh, uh, um, uh, Luke Skywalker, but of course Luke Skywalker is kind of like that last Jedi before Rey comes in, and uh, you know, it's just uh, there's there's just so many thoughts running through my head that I can't I can't uh, I can't get it straightforward to you guys because like it's all jumbling in my mind. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, let me take a breath here. Okay, so I definitely think that this episode is gonna be more focused to her finding out her family and how she plays a role in the Jedi and the Jedi people. Because if you remember, uh, the Jedi and the Sith were religions, you know, uh, you, that's why we had the Jedi temples and that's why there were the Jedi books. Um, and I still remember the Jedi Crystals. I remember that from the video game, by the way. I never read the comics. I'm so sorry. 
Um, I don't have, I, I didn't have money for the comics, guys. Like, my, my family is the true Asian family. Like, they never bought anything. Like, they were like, oh, here's toys your sister's used. Here you go. No need to buy new ones. Um, cartoons, you got cable. Watch it on cable. They cut the cartoon channel off the wall and just said, like, watch cable. It's good enough. Um, so, there you go. Uh, okay, so, I think, I think this is just a theory, you know, and so far my theories for Samurai Jack is pretty good, huh? Huh? Uh, so, uh, I'm definitely thinking uh, that um, Yoda is gonna play a part somehow, you know, maybe in the mind of Rey and maybe through Luke because Luke trained with Yoda uh, so I, ho I hope to see more of the training with her and Luke Skywalker because we never really saw uh, Luke train here's the thing we saw him like carry Yoda around and try to do the force on the bigger stuff but we never saw him train with a saber that's what I'm talking about okay before you Grill me in the comments for saying, Oh man, I just said you were a fanboy, but he did train man in like the Empire Strikes Back where he carries Yoda on his back and it's a backpack. I'm not talking about that, I'm talking about the saber, the lightsaber. That is the most important thing because if you're saying that no one can really control the lightsaber, then we should see people train with the lightsaber. But because people can use the lightsaber, we also need to see if the Jedi has proper saber use. Okay, if you remember uh, episode 2 of Star Wars, that was proper saber use because Yoda was flipping around, you know, he was using the, the blue lightsaber and was like, Fuck you, Count Dooku, you were my student. Get school, bitch, once more. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> really obnoxious now. Um, <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, whoo. <sighs> Fruz Raba. Okay. So, yeah, we're definitely gonna see that. I hope we see how good their camaraderie is, you know. And I'm talking about Ray, Poe, and Finn. By the way, again, Finn should be dead. Got slide through the back. Holy shit! How are you not dead, man? How are you not dead? Um. <laughs> uh, okay, we'll definitely see Kylo Ren being tugged away again. Like he's like, oh my god, no! To Darth because Darth Vader's mask was destroyed. Remember, like wholly destroyed now, not like in Episode Seven where it's just like burnt to a crisp. No, 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 it's broken. It's on the floor, so I'm thinking that's that may be the cause of Ray or Poe. Uh, Finn is definitely gonna be uh, in coma for like first, maybe the first two acts of the first act in general. Um, okay, so uh, and then maybe if they want to drag it out, you know, uh, does the first two acts and then in the last act he's like awake. And then they're like, oh my god, you're awake. Um, and, and the twist is Finn is also a Jedi. <gasps> Mind blown. <laughs> right? Right? Doesn't it make sense? Huh? Huh? Because he could use the lightsaber as well. Mm, bringing it back into the Star Wars lore. Okay, um, so yeah, I definitely think we'll see more star battles because you know you saw the big, uh, you saw the big uh, ships driving into the ground, and then there was red smoke all over that, um, and also you will definitely see more Arkhamel talking to Ray being a father figure sort of. Um, I definitely think Luke. Uh, like kneeling down watching something burn like if there was a house burning that may be uh, a Jedi stronghold or Jedi temple or 
even more painful to him you know maybe that was the training center where you know he brought young padawans to train or maybe it's his family huh but of course jedi can't really have family by the way so guys all your theories of raping luke's daughter is thrown out the window because jedis can't have kids that's why anakin went to the uh, the dark side because he was so worried about his kid and his wife uh, his wife um so yeah guys that was about it um if you want me to do more of these like trailers i can but it most likely needs to be like something i really love like star wars or something star wars because <laughs> the the so far you know not many um superhero movie trailers are pulling me and i keep feeling that you know i think this isn't for me and that's totally fine but you know you don't have to keep shoving down the trailers in my throat you know anyway guys that was about it and i will see you in the next episode see you then bye